Everything's better when you do it with your friends, and traveling through all of time and space is no exception, which is why the Doctor usually doesn't travel alone. Over their many incarnations, the Doctor has taken so many of their friends across the universe. The Doctor doesn't just take anyone with them. You want to travel with the Doctor, and you've got to be brave and fearless with a sense of wonder and a thirst for adventure. Okay. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Do you want to go back in? No way. I mean, we could die any minute, but all the same. It's beautiful. What do you think? How many people want to go to the moon? And here we are. Standing in the Earth light. What do you think happened? What do you think? Extraterrestrial. It's got to be. I don't know, a few years ago that would have sounded mad, but these days, that spaceship flying into Big Ben, Christmas, those Cybermen things. I had a cousin, Adiola. She worked at Canary Wharf. She never came home. Sorry. Yeah. I was there. In the battle they were. I promise you, Mr. Smith, we will find a way out. If we can travel to the moon, then we can travel back. There's got to be a way. It's not Smith. That's not my real name. Who are you then? I'm the doctor. Me too, if I ever pass my exams. This is Martha Jones, who first met the Doctor after a species of rhino-like cops for hire called the Jadoon moved the hospital she was working in to the moon. When companions first meet the Doctor, it's rarely a chill encounter. When Rose Tyler first met the Doctor, the shop she was working in blew up. I'm the Doctor, by the way. What's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life. That wasn't mad enough, and that's pretty messed up, Donna Noble was teleported into the TARDIS on her wedding day. While sometimes the Doctor meets their companions by accident, it's not always the case. Clara Oswald was destined to meet the Doctor, and this time the Doctor came a-knocking. Hello, yes! I hear you! Yep! Uh-huh! Hello? Clara. Clara Oswald. Hello. Clara Oswald Oswald. Just Clara Oswald. What was that middle one? Do you remember me? No? Should I? Who are you? The Doctor. No? The Doctor? Doctor who? No, just the Doctor. Actually, sorry, could you just ask me that again? Could I what? Could you just ask me that question again? Doctor who? Okay, just once more. Doctor who? Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you know, I never realised how much I enjoy hearing that said out loud. Thank you. Okay. However they meet our favourite Time Lord, the Doctor's companions can never resist travelling with them. I mean, being offered adventures across all of time and space? Who could resist? I want more. More of the universe. More time with you. You're like the best person I've ever met. You're pretty awesome. You're alright, I suppose. 
I can't guarantee that you're going to be safe. You know, do you? Really? Because when I pull that lever, I'm never quite sure what's going to happen. That's OK. You're not going to come back as the same people that left here. But that's all right. I think that's good. Be sure. All of you. Be sure. 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 Devil. Look at you. My fam. No, it still doesn't quite work. Team Tardis? We'll take that. Welcome aboard. Properly. Oh. Do you want to do it together? This bit. Look, this is all mad, I know, but that's the girl I told you about. Heather? Only I don't think it's really her. No, this is hard to believe. I know you're not exactly a sci-fi person. Time and relative dimension in space. TARDIS, for short. You're safe in here. You're safe in here and you always will be. Ace doesn't have anywhere to go. France is an idyllic place, Paravale. It's got lush green fields and a village blacksmith Doctor, and... she comes from the 20th century. Oh. <sighs> Come on, Mel, extract your digit. I'll send you a postcard. But I don't have an address. Oh, I'll put it in a bottle and throw it into space. It'll reach you in time. Ace, where do you think you're going? Perivale. Ah, yes, but by which route? The direct route with glitz or the scenic route? Well, do you fancy a quick trip round the 12 galaxies and then back to Perivale in time for tea? Ace! But there are three rules. One, I'm in charge. Whatever you say, Professor. Two. I'm not the professor, I'm the doctor. Whatever you want. And the third? Well, I'll think up the third by the time we get back to Perivale. What are you doing here? I thought you might need an escort. The creatures are still out here. You don't need that, Leela. The phantoms were merely projections of Zoanna's disturbed subconscious. He's better now. I suppose you're always right about everything. Very Goodbye. Take me with you. Why? What? Well, you like me, don't you? Well, yes, I suppose I do like you. But then I like lots of people. But I can't go carting them around the universe with me. Goodbye. Come out of there. Out. Come out. Don't touch that! Need a lift anywhere? Why? Where are you going? No idea. Want to come? Whenever you become a friend of the Doctor, your life is never the same again. And soon, Ruby Sunday, the Doctor's newest companion, is about to discover all of time and space when she boards the TARDIS. What adventures are you excited for them to go on together? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.